Good morning, it's Amy Simpson from Breathe, Believe, Achieve and today I wanted to talk about the importance of self-care and to get rid of any notion that self-care is by any means selfish. We seem to have this bit of a misconception that really any, if we take any time for ourselves then we are, we're selfish because there's so many other things that we could be doing or we should be doing. That's all the rubbish. Um, actually, um, not taking time for ourselves, not looking after ourselves is incredibly selfish. Because when we are not putting our own oxygen mask on first, if you think about it, you know, if any of us, oh, it's maybe a lovely thought, you know, in the past when we've all been able to go on holiday, um, if you've ever been on a flight, there is that absolute beginning we're told very, very clearly in in any sort of um, emergency situation, the first thing that we need to do is put our own oxygen mask on first. And why is that? It's because if we don't, we are no use to anybody else. So if you think about that from the current situation just now, if we don't look after ourselves, if we don't make sure that we're okay, then actually the people who are immediately around about us, so the people who are maybe and in the same house as is, the people that we're coming into contact through work, whether that's in person or whether that's virtually, if we're not if we're not looking after ourselves, then they get a version of us. They get a version of us that's probably exhausted. They get a version of us that's not present because we are too busy in our heads, playing lots of different stories, lots of worries. They get a version of us that's maybe a bit irritable. They get a version of us that just can't be bothered. They get a version of us that has ju that just can't think straight. That isn't rational. That isn't. That's just. And it's it's not that any of these are these are very um, normal ways to feel in this sort of situation. But if we're not taking time to look after ourselves, then that's all we're giving out to people. We're giving a version of ourselves that's distracted, irritable, exhausted. Whereas if we choose just to really look after ourselves, take a, put our own oxygen mask on first, recognise I am absolutely shattered. So what I need to do for me in order for me to be able to rest is um, I need to, well, I need to, I need to rest, not in order for me to rest, I need to rest. And that then means that People that I'm in, people who come to me for support, or people who are going to call you to do different things, they get a version of you that's much that has much more capacity to support, to help, to listen, because we all know that we all know there's um in the stuff I do around kind of hypnotherapy and NLP, what I very much understand is that we can only listen to one source of audio at one time. So if I am listening to all of my thoughts my internal dialogue, everything that's running around in my head, all of those worrying thoughts, all those, what if this happens? What if that could happen? Oh God, what if they do that? What if this, all of that chatter, if I'm listening to my internal dialogue, I'm not listening to the person that's right in front of me. Because I can't, I can't be paying full attention to both. So I'm either listening to the person that I'm speaking to, who's asked, who's maybe um, looking for a bit of support or advice from me, or is actually just, talking to me, just sharing their day, or I'm listening to my internal dialogue. We cannot do both. So actually, it's there's I've, I've said this to lots of people before. I read an article about four years ago um, that really hammered home the point of if we are not looking after ourselves first, then that's more selfish because we're not giving people our best. So it's not selfish to invest in self-care actually we deserve it and the people that we love and we care about and the people that we are trying to support they they get the best out of us when we do so it's not selfish make sure that you're doing something that's just completely investing in your self-care today i want to show you a really really simple technique so just here just in front of the ear um is our vagus nerve so the vagus nerve kind of helps just to kind of stim like kind of settle and balance the whole body. So if we take our fingers like this and we're just going to run them either side of the ears, the front and the back. 
And if you just do that the whole length, so we're rubbing up and all the way down to the jawline. And that just helps to stimulate that vagus nerve. Helps just to bring that kind of calming effect back into the body. So even if the only thing that you do today is that you find a little sunny spot, a little either outside on a step in your garden or if you're like me, I'm sure I was a cat in a previous life, if there's a wee slither of sunshine that comes into my room, that's the point I'll find. And you just use that. So scissoring just in front and behind the ear, rubbing straight up and down there, just stimulating that vagus nerve just helps to bring that real kind of calmness into the body. And remember at all points, we are the importance at times like this, we put our own oxygen mask on first and only then can we be of use to anybody else. I hope you look after yourselves today, do something that's just for you and I'll speak to you later on.